host of the Looking and Feeling Your Best at NEH channel on YouTube. Just stopping by with yet another outfit of the day. I know I've kind of gone crazy on the outfit of the days, but my camera is still positioned outside of my bedroom door, and this is the mirror that's behind the camera that I come to check out my outfits. And But I have decided that I won't show any outfit as any outfits of the day unless it's something kind of different you know and not the same as some of the ones that I've already done so today I thought it was noteworthy to share because I struggled with shoe choice um, necklace choice as well as um, jacket choice so what I'm going to do is share some of the um, the varying choices that I have and the one that I'll select to walk out the door in because a lot of times you know like if you pick the right jacket you will look as slim as you'd like to look or at least as close to that as you can get um, if you choose the wrong jacket you might look heavier if you chose the wrong necklace you know it might not give the pop that your outfit needs to be its absolute best and I like my outfits to be as you know popping as they can be and preferably as upscale as they can look and I think that's um, one of my um, I don't know things that really excites me just being able to put together an outfit that I could wear anywhere and feel comfortable you know from you know a Ritz Carlton or um, uh, what is it St. Regis Hotel you know go have lunch with somebody or yet you know go to the grocery store so um, today I'm going to pull together a look and I wanted to let you in on some of the choices that I'm going to make first off um, I started with this Michael Kors turtleneck that I got from um, Marshalls, of course. It was probably around $34.99, and it's very metallic-y, which I really like. Ignore, I haven't done my fingernails because um, I've been wearing gloves, and I've gotten really lazy. And then, um, so I said, well, what necklace am I going to... Um, you know, put with it because last year when I wore this very same outfit, I wore this necklace that um, my goddaughters gave me. That at first, I have to be honest, when my sister in law said, Do you like it? I was thinking, No, I'm not sure that I do. But putting it together with this outfit, you know, really um, gave it a different look. And it was funny because I sent a picture to one of my sons when he was at school, and I was like standing like this and, um, you know, wearing this in a black jacket. And he said, I look like a Power Ranger like the Black Ranger or something. So but anyway, that was kind of comical, but it's a different year, so I want a different necklace. So um, what I thought about doing was um, wearing the necklace. Um, this is actually two necklaces. I thought about just wearing this new necklace that I got from White House Black Market about two weeks ago. And the tag is actually still on it because I was contemplating taking it back. Well, let me see how much it actually is. If I glance in the mirror because it's too close for this 50 something to actually read it. Oh no, no, it's okay. It's $75. But the neat thing about it, oh, and it had a black bow. Did I bring the bow? No, I didn't bring the bow. Or not a bow, but a pin that was like kind of black with um, white trim and goldness on it. I'm not really a pen person, so I took that off. And, um, you know, I said, do I want to wear this? And, and it just seems kind of plain and a little understated. And so I got the brilliant idea. I said, sometimes I see ladies in magazines, especially, um, especially Chanel type things, where they're wearing layers of pearls. And so I got the idea. I said, hey, you know, I can, um, you know, add the, um, the set of pearls mixed with, you know, goldness that I got from Saks Fifth Avenue off Fifth for $29.99 back on my birthday last year when I turned 51. And of course I messed it up. But anyway, um, so I decided to merge these together. So I have um, a necklace you know, that's around $100, you know, a little bit over, but around $100, that's pretty heavy. And from what I heard from a lady that I met at the Fairmont Copley um, in Boston, she thought that, you know, it was something like, you know, that I wear from Chanel. So I just said, yeah, that's good, that's good, upscale is what we want. And she said, don't tell anyone that, you know, you got it from Saks Fifth off Fifth, but I like to share with people, you know, just to let them know that everything you buy doesn't have to be bank busting. So anyway, so I thought I would go with this. I think this represents 
my personality. Everybody may not want to wear a bunch of bulkiness, but I actually like it. So, okay, so we have a necklace that's affordable. And then for the earrings, um, since I have pearlness going on, I thought that I would wear the earrings that I got from Nordstrom Rack for about 20 bucks and then throw on a pearl bracelet that my sons gave me. And then again, um, kind of like a fake blingy-licious um, watch that another son gave me. And so like I just try to mix it all in. And, um, and then the belt, I don't know if you can see, but it has um, gold trim as well. And I got this from the White House Black Market outlet store. I just go so many places, it's hard for me to even keep track. And then finally the skirt, I got from um, Marshalls um, probably about four or five years ago and it was, it's by Raffaella, whoever the heck that is, I have no idea, but it was for $34.99 if I'm not mistaken. So I'm wearing Spanx tights that are pulled up to here, it would probably be better if they were down to here because it's a pain in the butt when you have to go to the restroom, you have to take the tights down, so maybe wear them lower because it's not like they're really adding value, you know, they're not holding in fat or anything, you know, um, so um, definitely wear tights that are probably lower if you're going to do a belt like this and it kind of just for a person who doesn't have a waist, it kind of creates a little, you know, breaking point between, you know, the flow and maybe defines it a little bit more. At least that's what I'm hoping. So anyway, I kind of like the flounce, you know, it's very different. Um, you don't see it that often. So I thought about, like, what boots should I wear? Because last year I wore these. And these are my um, Michael Kors boots that I got from DSW. I think they might have been to something I'm not sure but um, but anyway I love them and normally I don't like you know the ostentatious part of having something you know a label and somebody's name on your you know body but um, I like these and they're actually relatively comfortable you know even though I'm getting away from the pointy heel but I didn't like the way that my tights are showing here and so I didn't want to wear the high heel tall boot because I've already done that so I said this look calls for sway so I decided that no, I'm not going to wear these. That was last year, just like I'm not wearing that um, black and gold necklace that my goddaughters gave me. I decided to do something different, so I'm going to do something different. I actually bought um, some, what are they called? Are these called thigh high? I guess they're thigh high boots by um, Tommy Hill figure. And I got these from Ross, if you can believe it, for 30 $34.99, I think. No more than $39.99. That would be the tops, but I'm thinking $34.99. But I like to, you know, to be honest. So anyway, um, I'm thinking that this is a better bet. And it's definitely more comfortable because it has the, you know, the chunky heel. I don't know if you can see, but it has like a gold trim. So it, you know, coordinates the look. The goldness is there. So I said, okay, got the necklace, got the bracelet. Um, well, the belt, the bracelet, my skirt, um, so now you don't see my tights anymore. These are actually very comfortable. I got a lot of compliments. A lot of people couldn't believe that I got it from Ross or got them from Ross. So, so I said, okay, so we got the shoes. Now we need to pick a jacket. Now, a jacket can make or break you. Let me start off with one that like somehow I say, oh yeah, you know, I'm going to the office. I want it to look like a suit. And, and it's true. It could look like a suit for you. So here's one jacket choice and this is from, where is this from? Oh, this is Jones, New York, so I must have gotten it from Marshalls um, sometime um, about five or six years ago and I don't wear it that often because it's kind of conservative. Like look at that, that could work. You know, you could button it up and you know, let your necklace hang out a little bit and, and that's not bad. But what I don't like about this, oh, and it was probably about $49.99, something like that. But what I don't like about this is that it's so long that it hits you right on the flounce. I would prefer something that, you know, accentuated the waist more. And so some, what, someone could say, you know, well, you could just leave it open. And, and you really could leave it open. So this is good, but I'm thinking that a shorter jacket might be better. So let's try um, another one that I got more recently from White House Black Market, the outlet, when I was in Williamsburg, Virginia not too long ago. Um, and I think it was like original, like 100 and 
20 something, but with the um, mini discounts that they had going on, I think I got it for about $30. You know, so I said, well, this might work and I don't have any jackets like this. So the moral of this story is you need a number of different jackets for different skirts and different looks. And the fact that I'm wearing this belt, you know, with it, you want something that, you know, allows you to show the belt. So I'm thinking that this is definitely a better choice. So it kind of rests, and you want to get the, the belt back, right? Because it's um, elastic in the back. So, I mean, this is better. I think that was good, but this is better. So this could be the look that I leave the house with, depending on, you know, how I feel. So that's number two, and a very um, wisely priced you know, jacket that could be, you could do a lot of things with this, like tuxedo pants. You could just, um, you know, really turn it into something good. So that's one choice. But this is the one that I wore last year. So I'm going to try it on and see if this is best. Because this is what I initially went to. Um, because this is what I typically wear this skirt with. All right, so here's a short jacket that I got from BB, probably. And I always try to hold my um, sleeve so that you know you see the the sleeve of the sweater or the or the turtleneck on the ends of the jacket so like especially if your arms are kind of long and your jacket um, you know might not be as long as you like so this I got from BB probably on their sale rack in the back of the store and I think it was like maybe $49 or something so I think this is the look that I prefer because it hits you right at the waist you can still see the belt and it's very um, you know accentuating of the waist Do you notice that the change in you know from the good to the better to what I think is best I think I look more snatched with this and even though your necklace might hang down past the button you could just you know just bring it out and let it hang there. So I think this is the look that I want to represent, you know, my outfit for the day. I think it's upscale on a budget. Um, I could go, like I said, I could go to the St. Regis. I could go to the mall, you know, and eat at Red Robin if I wanted to. But it's about how you feel and your personality. And unfortunately, this is my personality. This is what I like. So maybe you can use some of the tips to build an outfit that actually fits your personality. Um, knowing that you can layer necklaces if you'd like. Knowing that you can you know, play around with different jackets, play around with different belts, different jewelry. Because I thought about wearing the black and gold um, like flat bracelet um, in case this is too much but but I think I do want to overdo it with the pearls um, and then you know you could go to Ross and, and get you a tall thigh high boot instead of the other ones and then be very comfortable now I see why older women wear you know the clod hopper heel that's real thick because it, it really does feel good on your heel especially um, when you did 6.33 miles on the treadmill a day and, and you jog for over four miles of it you know your heels are like hey give me a break it's so that little pointy heel um, you know it would have tolerated my heel would have tolerated but you know this is therapy for the heels and I think that I put together a very nice looking outfit of the day hopefully you agree um, the next video that you will see will not be an outfit of the day it will be one talking about skincare because um, someone mentioned to me that um, they would like to see a video talking about my skin um, she actually said it's flawless I don't think it's flawless and I'm gonna look in the mirror behind me to make sure that you can actually see my face I think that um, I think that my skin is pretty decent right off the bat but there is a lot that goes into it so the next video even though I have a video that shows my night care regimen and or my nighttime regimen as well as my morning regimen I think in the description um, for that video I'll list you know the links for both of those but I'll just do like a quick overall you know showing the products and how I use them in the order and hopefully that will help anyone out there you know that's trying to help their skin age as well as it can and God knows I really am because my 52nd birthday is coming up in less than a month so hopefully 
this will help to inspire you know those of you out there to keep your game up and to keep working and fighting to look your absolute very best at any age so until then guys thanks so much for stopping by my channel i look forward to sharing more tips with you in the very near future like comment subscribe share and um and definitely keep coming back but until then take care have a good one bye